Hello, welcome back. Now we are going to see the text box watermark extender. So this time I am going to website add new item and selecting the Ajax web form. The basic difference is that this time you will be having the script manager automatically added to the page. You need not extra add that uh, as an extra step. That's not required. So the basic intention behind the text box watermark extender is to get given extra information regarding the input you are for the text box. It can also be used for the new style of programming. For example, in Vista, Vista the open page you won't be seeing password and the text box. The password label is missing. So you can save that much real uh, real estate as far as the form is concerned. That is another use of the text box watermark extender, which basically extends the text box. So to start with, I'm having a text box or txt name. I'll have one more text box, txt specialization. Here I'm placing the text box watermark extender and the target control ID is txt name. In fact, for creating better Ajax applications, you should have you should use the cascading style sheet. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm not using cascading style sheet in the initial examples. We'll take up that in later examples. And later on. I'm taking the text box. There will be a section called text box watermark extender, which is the extender property. Here I'm specifying the name. Another text box watermark extender. Target control ID is TXT specialization. Again taking the text box. Now there are text inside the text box, but when you click here, it will just disappear as if the it is just it just disappears. And here I'm giving the name. And when I'm deleting the contents, the watermark text will again reappear. <coughs> this is the basic functionality of a text box watermark extender. So you can give another color for the text box watermark extender using a CSS file that we will take up afterwards. <laughs> Thank you.